Sorry, I was getting my blazer on. <laughs> Good afternoon. My name is Ian Goodrich. I am a student, but I'm a dreamer. I'm an artist, I'm a philosopher, and most importantly, a musician. Now, I know what you're wondering, well, what could that have to do with me? And to that, I pose a question. Do you really know what music is? Well, of course you say, music is something I listen to, it's something I can dance to, something I sing. It's jazz, pop, hip hop, from classical to classic rock. It's a piano arpeggio, a trumpet solo, a desk can't counterpoint, music is abstract, but we know what it is. It's something we listen to. So what if I told you that every one of you was right and every one of you was wrong? To further delve into my point, let's take a step back into history, music history. Keep the groans at a minimum, it won't be that long. Now music is thought to have begun in the Paleolithic era, 2.6 million years ago, the Stone Tool Age. Our ancestors would blow into a hollowed bone. They would bang rocks and sticks together. They would pluck a tampered gut string on a gourd. Music like that is unfamiliar to us, but it proves that music is at the core of our nature. See, music outdates composition, theory, or notation. Music is not a sound. Think of it this way. Every rural village and every major empire would go to war with a battle cry. They would eat to a song and pray to a hymn. Music is the glue of culture. Music is not a sound. Music is knowing that there is something greater than you out there and being able to reach out towards it. Picture this, a miner digging in his shaft, his vision tired, his muscles weak, his pick filthy. He's exhausted. Can you enter the overwhelming emotions he's feeling that day after day, week after week, he's yielding to the same earth, the same dirt? Then suddenly, a reaction, something different. He hits something hard, not the earth, something else. It's a diamond. Can you taste the mixture of fear and ecstasy on his tongue? Do you enter the barrage of primal want and need for something, something greater than himself. This is his music. It's not a sound, it's something greater than himself, a sixth sense. It defies all confines of thought and emotion. His music is beautiful. That's what music is. Music is beauty, insane perfection something greater than ourselves, and being able to reach out and gently caress it, if only for a moment. I found my music uh, listening to a choral composition I had composed, listening to these notes that I had created, this melody from my imagination. I realized that long after my body is decaying and my soul has departed, that this chord will linger on in the fringes of perfection. This was perfection I had created, this was my music, and it was beautiful. The music is out there, not as a sound, as a feeling. Every one of us has it, and every one of us can reach out towards it. That little bit of perfection in everyday life, that is what music is. It may be difficult to find, but life is worth living for something. So with that, I bid you adieu and hope you all find your music. <laughs>